Army Traveler. Looking for the fellow who can set you on the path towards hidden knowledge and arcane secrets. Oh, I know you ain't been asking for me by name. And how could you? Seems that I don't quite have what you'd rather call a name. But I know you've been looking for someone who knows what I know. Follow me, traveler. And we'll go and sit down someplace out of the wind. I'm kind of curious, though. What sort of serious existential questioning brings you out in the middle of this rocky wasteland? 40 miles from no place, and then hiking all the way up into these hills. You ain't too sure about it neither, are you? Just had a feeling some of your answers might be found out here. Well, you come to the right place anyway. Leastways, I sure hope you have. Cause I'm about the only upright walking fount of wisdom you're likely to find for about the next hundred miles or so in this godforsaken wilderness. Yep, just me out here. Just me in my dusty desert rags and old hooded raincoat and my trusty snake stick. Snake stick. For tossing rattlesnakes out of the way when I'm walking. I don't like killing the poor critters if I can help it. Yeah, here's a good spot for us to hunker down out of the wind for a while, traveler. Bit of a cave back here, under the rocks. Nice and sheltered. Even got a little campfire going in it. I kind of thought you'd be making your way out here, and I warmed the place up for you. Come on in. Have a seat, traveler. Let's get a better look at you. Alright. Fair warning, traveler. The hood on this old raincoat's gonna come off in a second. I'm guessing just by the fact of you being out here, you've already seen and heard some pretty weird things in your life. But if you ain't ready for another unsettling sight just now, you do well to avert your eyes. Suit yourself. I told you it was gonna be unsettling. What? Did you think I was gonna be some dusty old prospector type with a dirty gray beard and wrinkles on my wrinkles? Heck, that look went out of style decades back. And even then, I didn't go in for it. Kinda hard to grow out a beard, dirty or not, when your head looks just like a jackrabbit's writ large. Is it the giant ears that are bothering you? Or is it the red rimmed eyes on the side of my head that's doing it? Either way, you don't have to stare if you don't want to. There's plenty of bare rock walls in here to look at, plus the fire and that big old patch of wilderness outside. But now to the meat and bones of why you're out here. Hidden knowledge, right? Arcane secrets of the universe. Things not known to mere mortals. Wisdom that might undo reality. Yeah, I think I got that covered. What's in it for me? Everything's got a price, traveler. You know that as well as I do. How do you know that what I've got to tell is legit, eh? Just look at me, traveler. Look real close. Look at my eyes, my ears, this fucked up hair lip I got. Do I really look like someone who's going to tell you some bullshit about ancient Egypt and the druids what built Stonehenge? What I got to tell you, traveler, 
is going to ruin your mind if you ain't got a good grasp on your identity as an individual. How about I tell you a bit of what I know, and if you survive the experience, we'll talk payment afterward. How's that sound? Alrighty then. Sit back, and I'll tell you a bit about how things really work. First off, none of this is real. Well, not in the sense of physical reality. What you understand as reality may be real enough to you, but it's not what you could describe as objective physical reality. Uh, let me back up a bit. There are other realities than this one. I'll start there. There's other realities. We'll say they're next door to this one. Only it's a little more accurate to say they're superimposed, sharing the same space, but vibrating a little different from each other. Only sometimes that vibration gets a little off, and two neighboring realities start to phase together somewhat. Maybe a little, maybe a lot, depends on well, you ever dropped something small on the floor and when you go back looking for it, you can't for the goddamn death of you find where it went? Phase shift. You just happened to drop it when there was a phase shift and it went next door, so to speak. Ever come back to where that happened, maybe a few minutes later? And found the very thing you dropped right where you thought you dropped it? Phase shift again, and everything is back where it ought to be. People claiming they've seen ghosts, or seen people moving around where no one ought to be, same thing. Missing persons? Not always the case, but oftentimes someone might wander through what's generally known as a thin area, and pass into the neighboring reality without realizing. If what's next door is close enough, close enough of a match to what they left, I mean, they may take quite a while to notice anything wrong. You look a bit confused there, traveler. Just trying to process it all, are you? Well, I'll give you a few moments to let it all sink in. Because the next part is where it starts to get really squirrely. All these parallel realities, they're just one level of a really complex layer of realities. Because everything going on on this level, your reality, the ones next door, the other ones nearby, on and on and on, they're all being simulated in the next level up. That's right. You're someone else's computer game. Well, that's that's a really idiot simple way of putting it. Basically, this whole reality of yours, right from the Big Bang up until this very present moment, all running inside some ultra-complicated computer. And the realities nearby? Divergent but parallel realities. The farther back they diverge, the greater the differences between them. The ones closest to what you know is real, they've only diverged in the broadest sense pretty recently. They've even got a name for it when a divergence event happens, which is funny because the folks what came up with it are part of this level of the simulation, and they're not really sure if it's actually the case. You ever hear of the Mandela Effect? Cases. Cases of thousands, hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of people with clear memories of an event that never actually happened the way they remember it. Well, like that Nelson Mandela fella, 
A lot of folks remember him dying in prison a long time ago. Except he didn't. He lived a long time, actually. Or that Berenstain Bears series of kids' books. Except it was actually Berenstain Bears, and nobody can find any proof to support it anymore. That was just a couple of examples. Really prominent cases, where there was a phase shift right at the same time as a divergence event. I'll name a few more of those events, ones that might sound familiar to you. The Lincoln assassination. Big point in your history, right? Divergence event. A few doors down, so to speak. Lincoln survived that night at the theater. Changed a whole lot of history in that neighborhood of realities. Same thing for Archduke Franz Ferdinand got himself shot, one thing led to another, and a worldwide war breaks out. Big tipping point in historical events. Again, a divergence point, and a few doors down, metaphorically speaking, he survived and there never was a war. A little more recent, the Kennedy Affair, divergence, the places where Kennedy survived Things turned out a lot different. Ten years after his second term ended, there was a joint American-Russian colony project on the moon. Still going to this day in that reality. A bit different from your own timeline, right? Or how about even more recent? Everything you ever learned about history being more or less correct and right, just up until about say, May 28, 2016, Harambe. What a tragedy. Well, in the timeline next door, they never shot him. Another divergence event. And I'll tell you, Traveler, that timeline, it's a beautiful place. A cleaner, greener place. Healthy, lush, full of promise. Quite possibly the best timeline on this entire level of the simulation. And that's worth thinking on. Now, this sort of thing is happening at multiple levels. Remember how I told you all this is a simulation? How the next level up is just running some giant computer that created all this? Everything you've ever seen, learned, known? Well, someone the next level up from them is doing the same thing. And the next, and the next, and the next and so on. Traveler, you can't even begin to imagine how many different realities are going on at this level of things. But they're all reality of a sort. Quit staring at my ears, Traveler. I know they twitch when I talk. Now, here in this level, you know about computer games where you can plug yourself into a virtual simulation program, right? See the game from the inside and all that. Well, imagine if everything you've ever known was that game. And someone from the next level up decided to plug in and play. Depending on how good they were at the game, they could do all sorts of stuff all sorts of stuff. Disappearances, cryptids, miracles, flying saucers, sorcery, summoning demons. Now, think of someone from one or two levels higher than that plugging into their simulations and then getting into that level simulations 
right on down the line to where you and I are. What could they not do? Ever had a dream where you'd swear someone else was controlling it? Directing it? Ever had that dream where you're falling? Damn near everybody has. That one's a favorite to pull on dreaming people, maybe two or three levels below the user. I've even seen programming c c constructs for it. Yeah, dreaming gets you closer to the boundaries of the simulation. There's some people on your level, not a lot, but a few, are actually able to develop their awareness to a point where they can perceive the boundaries. They can see what borders their entire reality. And a very rare few, maybe a few tens of thousands among the entire myriad mass of humanity since time began, have managed to transcend the boundaries and find their way upwards to the next level. And this sort of thing it can happen at any level where there's a simulation going on. Climbing up higher than a single level is nigh impossible without outside intervention. But there's been some folk that have done it. Most often, though, it's the people from higher up that go down multiple levels to make some particular reality their personal playground. They may be going in with their own personality, or they may have some preset scenario already programmed. With so many realities, there's a lot to choose from. By the time they get down to this level, things can get pretty weird. You've heard of demons, right? Angels and demons and spirits of nature and all that good stuff. All from higher levels of simulated existence. Some higher than others, and therefore more powerful. And some of them entirely incomprehensible to the likes of you. Well, like the sleep paralysis demons. I've got no idea what the hell their reasons are for doing what they do. Some of them are only a couple levels up from here. Some of them are from a lot higher. Generally, the higher the level difference, the more powerful they are in the levels they go down to. You got the dream shapers, entities that dive down to lower levels and get into the dreamscapes of the locals. They'll set up constructs within the local simulation and then run people through them just, 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 just to see what happens. Now you're falling. The falling dream is a popular one. Or the dream where you're walking down the lo 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 longest damn country back road ever. With some kind of silent red-eyed thing moving through the corn beside the road. Does this road ever end? You got the demons that get you into their dream construct and do things that have an effect on your real body. Ones like the two 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 tooth stealing demons, and the ones that do sur 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 surgery on you while you sleep. Yes, your teeth. All sorts of things like that. There's demons that hang out in your closet. Or under your bed, 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 bed. And sometimes they'll talk to you. Aren't you supposed to be trying to sleep? You keep looking around there, traveler. You're starting to hear voices. Maybe starting to see little flashes of things that ain't there. Now, some of the really powerful demons, 
those sorts of entities from up near the actual top of things. Lower down, they're known as deal makers, on account of how they like to pick out certain individuals and make an agreement with them. Usually along the lines of living out a perfect fantasy life with wealth and fame and power and all that for a set term. And at the end, they take the person's soul in payment. Now, the taking of the soul, what that basically amounts to is the taking of the entirety of that person's data at their level of the simulation. And the deal maker twists it to their own uses. Resculpting the data into a leather coat or something, taking it with them when they go elsewhere. And the reason they can get away with creating the perfect fantasy life for the person in question for the terms of the contract is that they're from so many levels higher up that they can literally rewrite, bend, alter, and twist the lower levels of the simulation their client lives in. It's a damn wee 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 weird hobby if you ask me. There's a couple of stipulations of course. There's all sorts of other demons with their various sorts of hobbies, and fetishes, and entertainments. Pretty much everything you can imagine. And a whole lot of stuff you can't. There's an entire society of demon types built up around it. On almost every level of the simulations. What's that? How high up does it go? Well, I can't say for certain, Traveler. I've heard rumors that there's at least a dozen levels above this one. And yes, this one is currently the bottom, at least for your reality. I've been to millions of different realities down at this level. Thousands of the next few levels up. Me? Eight levels up from here. Any other information than that is meaningless, at least in this context. Absolutely meaningless. There'd be eight entire layers of reality to talk you through. And that's not so 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 something you need to put your brain through, Traveler. I'm sorry, shipmate. Oh, oh, oh. You okay there? Your nose is bleeding a little. Still game for more? You sure? Well, alrighty then. Like I said, the higher up you go, the weirder things get from your original perspective. But the closer you get to ultimate reality, I've never been higher up than eight levels from here, like I just told you. I said, quit staring at my ears. One might think you've never seen a humanoid jackrabbit before. Christ on a crutch. And wipe your nose. Like I was saying, it goes up at least a dozen levels from here. Maybe more. But somewhere up there is the ultimate, real place. The actual physical reality where the prime simulations are running inside their real, physical, unsimulated mainframes. And the folk living all the way up there, the builders of the first simulations which spawned all the rest, all the way across all those realities, all the way down here. They're known all up and down the levels as the Divines. They're gods. They might as well be. They're actually real. And for everyone inside their simulations, all the way down, the Divines control reality. All of it. 
just imagine if one of them decided to plug in, go down a few levels, and just flip a switch. Yep, just one lip, 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 lip of a switch. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? How many levels cascading downward and outward? How much of how many realities would that blot out? Would it even matter? It would all end in a flash. Everything. Gone. A little too much to think about, is it? Does it make you feel small, traveler? Maybe a little insignificant? Or are you just thinking that I might be a little cr 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 crazy? I am not alone in my madness. Oh, traveler. I am more than a little crazy. I've seen some things in my time. Things that might drive you mad just thinking about it. And I've seen some things that would strike you dead just from the simple act of s s seeing it. I've seen rocks just stand up and start walking around. I've seen the horrors that can happen to a world where the wrong computer program becomes self-aware. I've seen demons towering over entire continents that they've set ablaze. I have floated in space watched while well, some kind of gigantic space cricket the size of Jupiter slowly ate a world with 10 billion souls living on it. I've seen so many acts of suffering, of madness, of time stopping horror. Everything from the simple violence of one individual ending another's life with nothing but a stone in their hand to whole entire suns being hurled across the void as weapons of war. I've seen th 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 things, Traveler. So many.